So Moses goes down into Egypt uh, by himself. He does not have uh, an army. He does not have anything to threaten um, the Pharaoh with, except the great I am, the Lord. And, and in modern English, to honor the name of God, anytime you see Lord with all capitals, but the O-R-D being a slightly smaller font, that is a, a, an indication that is not simply the word the Lord there, but it is the divine name of God. That great I am we talked about uh, yesterday, that, that understanding that the essence of being is with Moses. It was with great intention that the Lord gives the ten plagues to Egypt. The plagues were not there just so that people would see a magic trick. As a matter of fact, a lot of the plagues are replicated by Pharaoh's magicians. And you see this interplay back and forth between Pharaoh being willing to let the people go and Pharaoh having his heart hardened. And all this comes with great intention. The main focus for all this is so that people would know that the I am is the Lord your God. This is the one who brings you out of the land of Egypt. Again, it's tough for us to recognize because we do not think about cultures that had gods or different mythological beings in charge of certain things or another so Egypt would have had gods of the harvest, gods of the frogs, gods of all those. It's tough for us to remember that by doing all these things, God is making a clear statement that he has control over everything. From as small as the insects to as great as the Nile, even over life itself in the Passover. The intention here was for God to demonstrate to the Egyptians and to the Israelites that he has full power and authority. And so repeated in this is this idea that God wanted the Egyptians to know he was all-powerful and the Israelites to know. The people that walked out of Israel are not, or out of Egypt are not the same people that walked into Egypt. The people that walked into the Egypt were, were the direct within a couple years uh, or a couple generations of Abraham. The people walking out, they have been there for 400 years. They would have not even seen Abraham's face. They would not have seen Jacob's face but the same God of all of their forefathers was now with them. And now they knew why they could trust him because he is the great I am. Because he has that power and authority. And so the people that followed it, Moses out of Egypt aren't simply people who come from one genetics. They're people that saw the Lord's power, and believed. The promise we have in the New Testament is there will be a time that all will know, all will know who Christ is. That there will be that day when every knee would bow and every tongue confess that Christ is Lord. That we will see his power we will understand his truth. We will be his people. The end of the book of Revelation has that scene of the, lion, the lamb and the bride crying out, Come, come Lord Jesus, so that everyone would know him. Would you pray with me? Father, help us, help us to be your modern messengers. 
Help us to be the ones that proclaim to the world the greatness of your power and strength, the greatness of your love and grace, that all people would come to know you and to know your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's in his name we pray. Amen. So remember to stay physically distant, but please, please stay connected and let us love everybody.